Hey guys, Ben from Zor Fitness, and today we're going to be going the, over the burpee box jump. So it's not the burpee box jump over. I actually prefer the box over because you can keep your hips low as you go across the hip the box. Whereas with this variation, you just stand up all the way, you have to extend your hip at the top of the movement, and you have to lock everything out. All right, so there's a lot more vertical distance that has to be traveled with the box jump up versus the box jump over. All right, so um, there's a number of different variations that you can do here to make it more of a sprint versus more sustainable um, when you're doing this movement. So number one, think about you can jump up and you can jump down, or you can potentially, depending on the rules, step up or step down. And again, that goes through both the box and the burpee. So what I mean is, number one, pay attention to how close you are, the further you have to travel, the harder that is, right? So we're staying close to the box. You can either step that burpee back, Step that burpee up. We can step the box up and down, right? We could jump the burpee back, jump it up. We can jump it back, step it up. Same thing up here. We can jump up, jump down, jump back. There's like all those different little variations, all right? So play around with the different options that you have there and pick the one, again, that's the right variation for the right workout and be able to transfer those in and out, right? So in other words, have at least two options that you can kind of be your go-tos. Maybe like a step up, jump, step down, if it's like a slower option, and like a jump up, jump down option if it's like a fast sprint type workout. So again, I'll just demo the two that I think are most common, a sprint option, a sustain option, things that I think are relevant. So I'm gonna do Sustain first, and then we'll end with the sprint. There you have it, that's the burpee box gym.